This is Dinosuchus, one of the biggest crocodilian reptiles to have ever existed, and one of the apex predator on Gondwa, capable of even going up against T-Rexes. So what do you do when you meet something more powerful than a Rex? Simply put, nothing. This is Sachi, a Sachikasaurus. Even though she just spawned in, hunters are still on the prowl. Immediately, she will need to dip for cover. Even though Sachi is young, her bite is still one to be reckoned with. Hunters will think twice before actually attacking her. As to why she is in the shallows, if she was to enter deeper ocean, there is a high chance she could meet one of her own kind. An adult Sachikasaurus will have no problems making its own kind a smaller one into its next meal. Knowing that this could happen, Sachi will have no choice but to stay in the shallows where it's somewhat safer. Even though Sachi is beautiful adapted to live in the water, she still needs to come up for air. Those brief surfaces will be her most risky moments. For now, she will head towards the place, also known as Location Quest. I don't know, yeah, for some reason she thinks th uh, that location is safer than any other places. And it gives her a lot of growth. Don't question it. To get there, however, she needs to travel through a dangerous place called Sharptooth Mash. Here, she is vulnerable for crocodile attacks. She could take the longer route around the ocean, but no, we need content. Unfortunately for Sachi, not every place on her journey is along the shallows. Some places are deeper than she expected. It is here she needs to be vigilant. If she lets down her guard, she can be spotted not only by adults such as Casauruses, but also crocodiles, Kaiwekas, Spinosaurus and other semi-aquatic dinosaurs. If she does get spotted, she can only forget about trying to running away. There's no way she can outswim an adult such a Casaurus. If it's a crocodile, however, or a Spinosaurus or any other semi-aquatic dinosaur, she may be able to await them in the water, considering she can hold her breath longer than they can. So far, so good. After taking a rest on some rocks, she is almost there. No enemies has been spotted so far. There's the opening of the river that goes inland. Here she needs to be extra careful. The chances of running into something is higher here. Dinosaur trying to cross the river to get to the other side. Adult Sachikasaurus, crocodiles or other semi-aquatic dinosaurs patrolling the rivers to get them. There are many danger hairs for Sachi.
the closer she gets inland to the center of the map, the higher chance it is for her to run into something. However, she knows this is necessary to get to the way she wants to. After traveling some distance, she enters the most dangerous part of her journey. Sharp Tooth Mash An area consisted of swamps. Here, literally anything can be hiding. Previous mentioned dinosaurs and any other creatures that might want to eat her. She also needs to make sure she doesn't get lost in the series of canals in the swamp. And just when everything seems okay, she encounters nothing. Unfortunately, Sharptooth Mash is directly connected to the sea. This means water in Sharptooth Mash is seawater, therefore not drinkable for any land creature or any creatures at all. Knowing this, creatures of any kind have no reasons to visit Sharptooth Mash especially when they know the risks. This was one anticlimactic endeavor in her journey. Finally, open sea. The ocean here are not that less dangerous than the ones down south. However, due to perhaps higher activity, the creatures here are less likely to attack you. Of course, do not take my words for it. Do not just waltz up against a crocodile and expect it not to attack you. Sachi will spend a long time here growing into the giant beast she can be. A long time has passed and Sachi is now an adult. She is heading up rivers to see if she can catch some easy meals. It is in this phase we can finally see the behavior of the one controlling her. AKA I forgot to activate my mic earlier so any conversation or any sentences I may have spoken, they weren't recorded so uh, whoops, that's on me. Also, despite referring her as a she for this entire time, I kinda figure out that she is actually a male, so um, whoops. What was that? Ooh. Is that a fight? That sounds like a para? I don't know what's attacking though. It could be anything actually. Wonder if it's another Juvie killer, I mean. Considering that the the one getting attack is taking quite a beating. I think it might be quite the big herbivore, but I don't know what the carnivore would be. Wait. Please get closer to the water. I don't know what herbivore that is, but it's taking quite a beating. Wait, oh it's a Yonanosaurus! And... Is that... That's a... Giganotosaurus? A Juvie Giganotosaurus. And a Daspletosaurus. Yeah, uh, mix packing is not allowed, so, um... But I don't care, I'm gonna go... Oh! Oh! Well, I did not mean to get you, but I'll take... Hey! Don't bite my tail! <laughs> I didn't mean to get you, but I'll take it.
Are you challenging for this body? Because I will fight for it. Okay, no. Okay, you're gonna continue? Okay, never mind then, I might just eat this. Terrestrial creature aren't the only thing on the menu. A Thalmadromius. Thalmadromius is flying close to the water, waiting to see some ripple of a fish, hoping for a quick dinner. However, is not aware that he can be dinner. Missed. Thalmodromius lives to fly another day. It would seem that there's nothing more left for Sachi to eat here. When rivers are empty, he will head out to the ocean. Considering that the ocean are always full of food, it is a mystery why Sashi would head up towards the river. We can only assume that he wants a variation in his diet. Open Sea Out here in open ocean, Sachi Kasaurus is the reigning king. And when there are any invading king who dares enter the territory, there will always be war. A lone Spinosaurus, the king of rivers, have no business in the ocean. And Sachi will make sure he gets the message. This is unfortunately not a good time for Sachi though. He is tired from swimming all the way here. However, the Spino seems to have the audacity to dare challenge the master of the ocean. Unfortunately for Spinosaurus, except from speed category, he is outclassed in every other faction. He will have no other choice but to retreat. Stay out. And let that be a warning. Confrontations like this are rare. Spinosauruses, crocodiles or any other semi-aquatic creature are well aware of the existence of Sachi and his kind. Traveling outside to open sea, it's a high risk you will run into one of these behemoths. And even if you were to be in a river in land, who says that these monsters can't come to you? Sharptooth Mash, a place where Sachi went to before when he was young. He never met anything there when he was young, but now, chances are better. After searching for a day, he finally have a potential meal. Ooh, footsteps. But the, from what? Probably a crocodile. Oh, please let it be a crocodile. Sarkisuchus, Dinosuchus, I don't care. I mean, I could use the food, but uh, this is more about establishing... Oh, a Dinosuchus. These are my waters. Damn it, you're lucky I don't have the speed skin on. It wouldn't really matter. Sachikasaurus are not really great for speed. Not in this game at least. After a few failures, he decides it is best to leave salt water. He has joined up with a friend, and together they traverse the land. This however, 
is by no means an easy journey. It is here such a Arin is the most vulnerable state. Safe. Salt water or fresh water, it doesn't really matter for such a casaurus. They do well in both. An Amplosaurus. Not really a recommended target, even for such a casaurus. This herbivore dominates the apexes on land. But maybe, just maybe, the fatty of the sea can take on one of the fatty of land. Oh, you actually do a quite bit of damage. You do bleed damage too? I mean, I guess you got spikes. Oh no, don't you turn your- oh. Oh, that tail is dangerous. Uh, no, don't go too far on land, my friend. We're just sitting ducks on land. Um, come back. I don't count this as a victory. This doesn't feel like a victory at all. This was pointless. <laughs> wow. Now the now he's getting attacked by Gigas. You're welcome. Can I? Come on. <gasps> wait. Don't you interrupt. Also, wait. He's in. He's in water. Maybe I can. Come. Yes. Yes. Come on, come. But you're actually also bigger than the one on top, so uh, you do way more damage than him. Probably. Careful from the stomp, buddy. Oh. Oh, careful! Wait. Okay, we bone broke each other, but... He didn't really take that much damage from the stomp, which is actually good, but... Oh, I am so low! It would seem that the fatty of land won over the fatty of sea. After healing, he decided his best to go back to the ocean, where he can fight creature smaller than his because he can't take creature on his own size. However, he wants to get back to the ocean quickly. So why take the risky way on land when you can take the risky way down? He needs to be careful. One wrong move and he will be nothing but splat. Easy food for any lucky scavenger. Once again, Sachi got luck on his side. You know, I've been playing for a long time now and I kinda do wonder, am I really the master of the ocean? I mean, Spino's probably rivers, but I mean the only other person or creature that could give me a, a, like a run for my money would be the crocodiles. And I don't know why, but I do think Dinosuchus do seem a bit more powerful than the Sarko. So, you know what? Let's go and see if I can uh, establish my dominance. Why, I don't, why not? I just need a Dinosuchus though. Also, I kinda have every creature I've been making a video of, they have always died, so I don't want this guy to be uh, the exception. All creatures. <gasps> Fight me! Fight me! Fight me! Fight me! No, don't go on land! Don't go on land! That's cowardly! Fight me, a person way heavier than you and stronger than you! Come on, fight this unfair battle, will you? 
Sachi will not be any exception. You will die. It will seem that our suicidal friend might get his wish. Wait. Is that two crocodiles? Yeah, wait. Yeah, they are definitely two. Yep. Okay, now you're two against one. Grow a set and come over here and kill me. Of course, though, if you do, I will not go down without a fight, though. I mean, if uh, I am. I mean, I do want to, this to end, but I also want to do this in a... Uh, Oh, oh here they are, here they come, think I don't see you, come on, come at me bruh, I hope you guys are both uh, adult and not sub, but, oh yeah, here they come, <gasps> I want to be able to do that, it's kind of stupid that we can't lunge and uh, bite uh, at the same time, but you know what? Uh, they'll probably patch that up in the future, hopefully. I mean, such a such a kind is new. Oh shoot! They're actually doing a lot better job than I expected. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is. They are really good. That bone break is so overpowered. Death roll. Oh, voice, voice. I have been playing far too long. Okay, I got my back against the wall, now you can't double team me. Oh, but you can do that. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, okay, uh, back back to the oh back to the floor. That death roll animation though, that's cool. I find the lack of Kaiwekas disturbing.